Hello guys, this is Nikki's husband 1016 once again and we're here to review the Galaxy Note from AT&T. I am doing a quick review of this beautiful phone, which I think is the best thing out there. To my own, you know. Not that everybody likes it or not. Everybody has their own options and I do not really care what you like and so on and so forth. Well this beautiful phone comes with a dual core 1.4 gigahertz I think it's a 89 CPU but um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments it also comes with 1 gigabyte RAM and it comes with 16 gig internal media also which is about 2 gigabytes I think for internal apps um, also comes with a 5.3 inch AMOLED HD screen which is a beauty as you can see everything about this phone I like I like touch with I never had a problem with it it's quick and smooth I like everything my phone is currently rooted but it's everything stuck I am not ready to upgrade to ICS uh, rooted ROMs. I will wait as long as some Samsung takes to bring out the update. Um, today I got this phone. This phone was humongous. I it makes me remember of uh, the iPhone, iPhone 4, iPhone 4s. I seen all the videos where the iPhone literally fits in the screen so think about it once you're five inches or bigger you can't go any lower than that so to tell you guys everything's fine the camera is expect spectacular if that's how you say it. it takes great shots also the S Pen S Memo everything works perfectly the pen is very accurate and you could draw, you could write, you could do whatever you want, you could cut, you could trim, do whatever. Go on a website, take a picture of it, screenshot, and cut out whatever you want. Open an S note, S memo, and do whatever you gotta do. Perfect. I tell you that. Also, there's a bunch of apps for this phone, especially for this phone since it has the S Pen. Um, we're talking about Samsung apps, which it supposedly tells you all the good apps for this but some of the apps in there don't have nothing to do with the stylus I found hello color for my daughter hello shock note mat you could write the answer to a mat problem with the stylus um, SBM which is uh, I think sketchbook mobile pro which is the full app with this one you could draw anything the free one it's kind of difficult and you don't get as much options as this one has so yeah I got sketch I got pixel pro which you, you know it's all about p photos and stuff um, I also have Zen brush free all paint stylus there is one thing that I like currently I have this app right here. It's called Stick It. That one is similar to the app on the Galaxy S3 where you're browsing and you want to watch a video. You open that up and you look for a video. Let me see if I can find a video. Well, I don't know exactly where my videos will be at if I recorded one but what you would do is you open the video and it pops up as on top of the front screen desktop so you could browse through whatever and continue watching the video <laughs> similar to that I didn't I know it's, we might not be able to see it on this phone but hopefully it does come and I also got Flipboard as you can see that app is awesome I think 
it, it's better, you know, that like you could connect your Twitter, your Facebook, and to update it, refresh, all you do is swipe down, and it automatically, you know, refreshes to what's up. As you can see, here it is. There's Facebook, news, and stuff, so on and so forth, and then there's more, which means if you want to choose a specific things that you want to see on your flipboard let me show you some of them let's say for instance I want to see technology it's pretty cool because it looks like an actual magazine as you can see like a piece of paper just flipping over and once you want to see what the rest of the story says just click on it and it'll launch and there it is you see like a story Now, to tell you, when you press home and hold it, the task manager and the recent apps comes up. It's pretty cool because the task manager, you can just click on it, and whatever is open, you can just exit it. Much easier than phones before that I had. TouchWiz is pretty cool to me. <laughs> and the background, it did bother me a little bit that the background paper didn't scroll. But once in a while, you get used to it. I don't know why they stopped it, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal for me. Um, I'm really waiting for the ICS to come out and see what that brings to us Note users. But as you can see, this phone is huge, bungus. Over a couple of days, four, five days, you'll be used to it. And you'll be like, this phone is awesome. Comes with an 8 megapixel camera on the back, flash LED. Headphone jack, microphone on top, microphone on the bottom, and this right here is for the speaker. No, well, let me see what that is for. Oh, that's for a stylus right here, speaker, and USB charging port. Um, the speaker is right there. As you can see, we have power button right here and volume bracket right here. Um, I wanted the white one, but you know, gotta deal with what you get. And I got the black one, but just got a white cover for it. It's perfectly fine with me. Don't really matter. Uh, so if you're looking to get this phone, I really, really recommend it. It's a great phone. If you could custom to big phones quickly or a different size phone, you'll love it. I know you will. Uh, I hope you like this review. And uh, I tell you that this phone, a normal use, will last me around 12 to 14 hours. Now, if you're using heavy, it'll probably last le uh, lower than that. So, just think about that. If you like this review and uh, you got any questions, just hit me up in the comments and I'll comment back. And I hope I make some more reviews of different phones as they come out. And have a nice day. Thanks a lot.